the God of heaven and earth. We worship you. We honor you. We adore you. We glorify you. We lift you up. We declare that you are worthy. Glory be to the name of the Lord, the one who sits in the heavens to control the affairs of men, the mighty man in battle, glorious in holiness, wonderful in praises, who does wonders, giver of life, sustainer of life, redeemer of life, king of Israel, king of Zion, Healer, Savior, thank you. Glory be to you. Honor be to your holy name. Adoration to your holy name. Praises to your holy name. Mighty warrior. Mighty king. Mighty man in battle. Healer, restorer, the worshiper. Worship him wherever you may be. Praise him wherever you may be. Magnify wherever you may be. Exalt him wherever you may be. Thank him from the depth of your heart. For you are glorious. You are worthy of our praise. You are the Lamb. Upon the throne, and unto you we lift our voice to say, You are the Lamb upon the throne. For you are glory. Blessed be the Lord, 
where the rock of my salvation be as altered. Hosanna, blessed be the Lord, let the rock of my salvation be as Blessed be the Lord, let the rock of my salvation be exalted. Hosanna, blessed be the Lord, let the rock of my salvation be exalted. I have seen the Lord's goodness. His mercies and compassions. I have seen the Lord's goodness. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. I have seen the Lord's goodness. Oh, His mercies and compassions. I have seen the Lord's goodness. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Oh Lord, you have been so good. You are so good to me, O oh Lord, you are excellent. Hey, in my life every day, O oh Lord, you have been so good. You are so good to me, O oh Lord, you are excellent in my life. Thank you, Jesus. Glory be to the name of Jesus. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Glory belongs to Him. Honor belongs to Him. Adoration belongs to Him. The God of heaven and earth, the Redeemer, the Restorer, the Giver of life, the giver of all things. It deserves the glory. It deserves the honor. It deserves the adoration. He is a living Father. He is a gracious God. He is a merciful King. He is a bright and morning star. He is the ancient of days. We return glory to Him. All your goodness, your kindness, your tender mercies, we are grateful for all you have done. If all your goodness, your kindness, your tender mercies, we are grateful for all you have done. We are grateful for all you have done. We are grateful for all you have done. For your goodness, your kindness, your tender we are grateful for all you have done. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Glory be to the name of Jesus. Thank you. Uh, there are prayers to be prayed this afternoon. Prayers to be prayed this afternoon. And I want you to pray them from the depth of your heart. From the depth of your heart. Uh, 
manifestación de glory, deliverance, healing, and restoration prayer. And the three prayers I want you to pray. Pray them very well. When the enemy cannot stop a glory anymore, they begin to pursue the bearer of the glory with death, with sickness, with infirmity, with accident. So, one thing is certain, the enemy can take verses away from you. And verse is the second thing to glory in the realm of the spirit. And they begin, they can transfer the verses to another. Now transfer the verse to another, and another person begin to prosper or use the version. But when the enemy can no longer hold on to a person's glory, the next option is the attack of death. For a few minutes, let me talk to you about how. The enemy hinder people from using their glory. How the enemy hinders people from using their glory. Section 1, section 2, section 3, we have prayed. And we still pray. But let me discuss a little bit with you how the enemy hinders people from using their glory. Let me rush through quickly the things that we learned during the school of power. During the night, central night of power, the nine things that can happen to glory. And I remember taking you a series of teaching on what glory is then. Number one, I told you glory can be terminated. Isaiah 21, verse 26. Isaiah 21, verse 26. For example, the glory of Jabez of Gaza, my apology, the glory of Gaza was terminated. How? How did the glory of Gaza was terminated? The enemy pushed him into greed. Into greed. The enemy magnified his present need above the glory ahead of him. He magnifies his present need, made his need, his stomach infrastructure to be important than the greatness which lies ahead of him. He made his stomach to be much more important than the greatness that lies ahead of him. So, Jabez for free of this. And then his glory was terminated Through the response or the reaction
of Elisha the prophet. So when the enemy wants to stop a person from missing the glory, if they don't, if they can't stop that glory anymore, then the enemy, or the next thing the enemy goes on to do is this. He goes on to terminate, he goes on to lead the person into error. He leads the person into error. For Jabez, the error he led him into, for Gaza at least, for Gaza, the error the enemy led Gaza into was the error of collecting gifts when it's not supposed to collect gifts. To others, to another fellow, the error the enemy leads some people to is the error of marriage. Marital error. Every demonical influence mistake, every demonical influence mistake can terminate a person's glory. I repeat that again. Elisha knew that he has made a mistake. Even though it was an intentional mistake. But Elisha expects Gehazi to be sensitive in the spirit enough to know. That was what I said to Gehazi. Is it time to collect gifts? Is it time to collect gifts? If you want to use your glory, hear me and hear me carefully well. What I want to say now. If you truly want to use your glory, there are a spiritual gifts and grace that must be fully active in your life. One of them is discernment. Discernment. All men are not men. All women are not women. Ability to see men. Behind what the two eyes can see, the two ears can hear, is very, very important. Ability to see may beyond what the two eyes can see, the two eyes can see. If you make the mistake of choices, Choice of marriage, especially. You have done alternative for God with glory. You have done alternative for God with glory. This is the pains in the heart of many women today. Many mothers today. Elisha made the choice to collect the gift. His master rejected. It was the purpose, what the gift is for, what you need to do at that time was what Elisha was saying. Elisha never reasoned for, 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 he never reasoned two times. 
Why do my master reject this gift? If you make a mistake to consent when you are supposed to disagree, you will likely have exchanged your destiny. I told you two stories. If you have glory, there will be juicy demonic offers that will always come your way. Either as a male or if a female, either as a, as a business person or as somebody in ministry. I've told you how a woman built house, a story building, with three bedroom flats, four on it. Three story building, three at the front, three bedroom flats on it. Four flats, three bedroom each. And it was on an half plot of land, um, a plot and half of land. And then he, he called me. So he attended the church where I was serving then. She did things I did. She took me to the house, not that I was stood, I was there. I said, Pastor Jerry, I said, Ma, only marry my daughter, and this house becomes your own. So I turned into a joke. So who is paying the dowry now? Am I the one or your daughter? He said, I'm not asking you for dowry. Why would you want me to marry your daughter? Why? And she said quickly, I know the family we came from. But if you can marry my daughter, I know the future of my daughter is secure with you. At that time, I can't afford to rent the house for myself. Where I sleep during the week is not where I sleep in the weekend. Just like what Isaiah said, there is no glory, no comeliness. Now if you behold him, there is nothing beautiful. I don't need to go and pray. I told you, Mark, one blank. I said, thank you. God will bring husband for your daughter. God will bring husband for your daughter. I am not meant for your daughter. Your daughter is not meant for me. You must say, what are you saying? Instead of you to be happy, yeah? By the time you are creating the length, spread it from the many three flats. You will never pay for how strength the game in your life. By the time you are collecting the rent for the many three flats. Ah, you know what that means? I allow the woman to finish. I say went back to my point. Thank you, man. Nobody would do that for you if they have not seen what lies ahead of you. Listen, young ladies, those of you who like free gifts, be careful. Careful. One of our fathers of faith 
Seven years ago, when they were looking for money to buy the first one plot of land for the ministry headquarters, he said one day, man came to his counseling room. They will know that this man is rich. 1990s. 1990s. So you know that this man is rich. Very rich. And the man sat before him and said, um, man of God. Somebody directed me here. He said, okay. Then the person said, God answer you quickly. He said, by the grace of God, all glory to God. I have a problem. He said, what's the problem? I have money, but I cannot sleep. He said, all right. All right. So what do you want now? He said, you can pray for me. I can, I, I can sleep for just five minutes. In the last three months, I have not slept. If you can pray for me and I can sleep for just five minutes, I will give you five million. Then you look at the man and say, You're a foolish person. So I told him one plan. You're a foolish person. You are a foolish person. Why? So the money you have, you cannot sleep. I should sell my own sleep to you for five million. Anyway, I will only pity you. And I will pray for you. You will have that five minutes sleep. Once you wake up from your five minutes sleep, get away with your blood money. So he, so he asked the man to close his eyes. Father in Jesus' name. Father in Jesus' name. The man said the man the first time. The second time. The third time you could not hear the man say amen again. The man has slept off. They just abandoned him there and continued with his cancer. And exactly five minutes after, the man woke up. And he said, ah, man of God, why don't you make it 20 minutes? I will give you 20 minutes to get out of my office. What did this thing happen here? If he had collected five million from him, nobody will hear of that man of God beyond that realm he was. If you have glory, be careful. You need discernment. So one of the ways that will stop you from using their glory is by pushing them into error. Into error. Into error. The more error you commit, the more you lost the opportunity to add time to your glory. The more the error you commit, the more the enemy makes it very difficult for you to walk in the light of your glory. You need to understand this carefully well. Carefully. Don't make the mistake when they wanted to terminate the glory of Samson. All they need to make him commit emotional error. Emotional error is a terrible error. I need to begin to talk to you now about the strategies. How the enemy stop you from using their glory right from the scripture. All they did 
it was to make Samson commit emotional error. Oh, the emotional error. He was angry. He abandoned the right wife. Never check on her until the father gave her to another person. What got him angry is justified before men, but he never saw that the enemy has set a trap for him by that. Samson falling in love with Delilah was not ordinary. Those of you, singles, brothers and sisters, who before you are offended in your relationship, I'm no longer interested. I'm no longer interested. I've met her his house. He's behaving as if his head is under a trailer. I'm no longer interested. You better be careful. You better be careful. Somebody may say, okay, why don't you tell us what happened to some relationship? I will tell you. What happened to some relationship? Samson gave the people who attended his introduction a lead to solve. The people could not get the lead and they went on to threaten the fiance or the fiancée, what do you call them now, or something. So the wife have to go on and persuade their something to get the answer from something she wants to tell them. This got something angry. He left the place in anger. And for some time he refused to show up. I will offer him. By the time something will return, his own groom, best man, his friend, they have given the lady to his friend, to wife. His best man. He got angry the more. Oh, the father, the lady says, since we did not see you again, Since we did not see you again, we thought you are not interested in her. All right. If you are too interested in marrying this family, this is our sister. Something did not listen again. He got angry and went. He left. Many needs to pray. That in God should arise in his mercy and cancel the consequence of their own mistake. Consequence of the mistake they made that is working against the manifestation of their glory. Understand this carefully. Now let me tell you this. No man's glory is tied to marriage. But marriage can either be a booster to your glory or can completely destroy your glory. It can be a booster to your glory and it can completely destroy your glory. So one of the ways devils hinder people from using their glory is by making, pushing them, influencing them into making mistakes that cost them nothing but their glory. We also learn in Ezekiel 24 verse 25 that Glory can be taken away. What is that strategy? What 
What is that strategy? Careless living. Careless living. Careless living. A disciplined life is a life of security even without prayer. A disciplined life. You will not secure your physical life alone. You will secure your glory if you are disciplined. Unfortunately, many are not disciplined. Many are not disciplined. Another version you must have, if you will use your glory, if you will protect your glory, you must be disciplined. You must be disciplined. must be disciplined. On the altar of service, many have traded their destiny, traded their glory. On the altar of service, many have traded the way their glory. You must be disciplined. Understand this carefully. When a guy or a man is head bent or marrying a lady, there is there is more to it than toss here the law. God wants us to live God. If God says so, oh, brother W, marry Sister K, and Sister K says no, I'm not marrying him. What brother W should do is to go back to God and say, Lord, Sister K said he's not marrying me. And I, as much as I know by God, God will not say go back to her. And this I always say to people. If God says marry so 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 person, and say no, you are not marrying the person. You that break away from the relationship, you are the one to face the consequence. The same thing goes to if God says quit a relationship, and you decide to stay there, don't worry. When the problem comes, you will face it. The enemy, how do they in that people for music their glory? How? When the enemy wants to take a person's glory away, they make the person become ignorant. You will just be ignorant of a particular area of life for a very long time, especially spiritual ignorance. That's why I pity young people who do big boys and big girls with prayer. One demon will just keep forcing them not to take God serious. Not to take spiritual exercise serious. The enemy has the target. When the enemy has achieved what he wants to achieve, he let them be suddenly that demonic cloud that makes them not to take God serious will clear the way. Many of them now run back to God, taking God serious when the enemy had emptied them. When the enemy had emptied them, completely emptied them.
but they not empty them. So when they want to steal the person's glory, they make the person ignorant of a particular aspect. They make the person ignorant of a particular aspect. Every opportunity for the person to learn, every sign for the person to learn, the person will not learn. See, the acts of Samson were plugged off. Samson never learned prayer. Samson never learned prayer. See, his eyes were plugged off. The two eggs, the, the seven dog of power on his head was shaven off. Samson never noticed the real identity of Delilah. Even when God gave him, gave him three times golden opportunity to know the true identity of Delilah. Oh, you think it's what is in Samson's power to tell Delilah lies about the source of his strength. No. It was not his power. It was not his power. God was trying to preserve something. It will make something. Read about something very well. Something is not the type that lies. Something is too open to lie. So all the lies that was said in Lila was God behind it trying to preserve something. If something's eyes were open, but something seems to be blinded by what some of you called love. It was the bewitchment of the Philistine that was at work. Do you have children who don't like prayer? You better start forcing them to pray. Force them to pray. Because it's one of the strategy. Many will not take prayer serious until the enemy has pushed them into anti-glory pits. Anti-glory pits. Pray about marriage. You have to pray very well before you decide to marry. Okay? Why is it that serious? Why? Why is it that serious? I don't need to pray much. I know the kind of man that I wanted. I have several people are meeting today. This is not the man I marry. If you have prayed well, you will you will have seen the version that you are seeing now. Then, so that will have helped you to decide yes or no. That will have helped you to actually decide whether your yes then should have been no. So when they want to take a person's glory from a person, they make the person ignorant in a particular area for as long as they achieve their goal. Once they have not achieved that goal of making the person lose his glory, of taking the person's glory away, the person will remain ignorant. You have to understand this carefully well. Carefully well. Three. We learn from Ossia chapter 4, we are looking at how devils hinder people from using their glory. Because you have prayed. You have prayed. Now need to learn some things and then we pray. In Ossia chapter 4, verse 7, we learn that glory can be turned to shame. Then you want to 
pas ces questions. Et j'ai une Bible pour exemple as to how the enemy can turn the person's body to shame. Yes. Yes. And as long as a person who the enemy turned his glory to shame at the end of the day is Solomon. Solomon. Solomon began as a disciplined man. As a godly man. As a man who feared God. All of a sudden, Solomon turned away from the wisdom of God to the wisdom of man. He turned away from the wisdom of God. God gave him to sexual wisdom, carnal wisdom. Solomon took responsibility for his own security away from God. A man God has promised peace on all sides. And he has never had any challenge. No kingdom ever rose against his kingdom. Solomon sat and thought to himself, How do I improve the peace in my kingdom? He never thought of sacrificing more to the God of heaven. He never thought of raising more altar to honor God. He never thought of praying more. What came to the mind of Solomon is to start multiplying wives. Solomon had concubines of ladies in his kingdom, but he had wives from other kingdoms. So all the wives of Solomon were loyal princesses from different kingdoms. The whole of the 700. Just to have peace. Just to have peace so that they will not wage war against his kingdom. When the enemy wants to turn the person's glory to a shame, he makes the person to be wise in his own eyes. The strategy is against Solomon. He will make the person to become wise in his own eyes. The person will become dull, deaf to the voice of cancer. We become deaf to the voice of cancer. As you become deaf to the voice of counsel, pride becomes the order of the day. In the source person, they say the person begins to compare each instead of listening to the voice of wisdom. Begin to compare age. I am older than him. I am older than her. He cannot talk to me. A big tragedy. Nobody who wants Solomon. Against his choice to begin to play with different kind of women here and there. I have seen the Lord's goodness, his mercies and compassions. I have seen the Lord's goodness. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. I have 
Casting those goodness. Use mercies and compassions. I have seen the Lord's goodness. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. I have seen the Lord's goodness. Mercies and compassion. I have seen the Lord's goodness. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. O Lord, you have been so good. You are so good to me, O Lord, you are the stellar. In my life every day, O Lord, you have been so good. You are so good to me, O Lord, you are the In my life. I have seen the Lord's goodness, His mercies and compassion. I have seen the Lord's goodness. Please, if you can hear me, can you drop a message on the WhatsApp, please? The network is back at the end, please. Drop a message on the WhatsApp, please. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. I have seen the Lord's goodness. His mercies and compassion. I have seen the Lord's goodness. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. So when the enemy wanted to ruin Wanted to turn the glory of Solomon to shame. Solomon became wise in his conceit. Nobody can correct him. Nobody can correct Solomon. Everybody was singing his praise to his domination. Listen. Don't get to a level. That those God put in your life can no longer rebuke you. Don't put on the attitude showing that you are not wiser than anybody. It's a dangerous attitude. Don't put on that habit. Please have you sit still. Be humbly friendly enough that somebody can tell you who acted me. And say, Jerry, the way you reacted your data is no good. Please. Can it be true? How the enemy stop you from using their glory? The enemy so succeeded against Samson, against Solomon, that Solomon could not live up to the age of his father. The man who fights war, who never had rest all his life, lived, lived longer than the one who had peace all his life. At the end of the day, the name of Solomon was tarnished. So when somebody is naming his child Solomon, they put a comma. It is the wisdom of Solomon that I want for you. It's not the weakness of Solomon. When they didn't want to turn a person's glory to shame, they make the person all wise in his own conceit. 
the person becomes all wise in his own conceit that nobody, nobody can correct him. I beg you, I beg you, never get to that level. I sincerely beg you, never get to that level. How do enemy stop people from using their glory? Some have not arrived to any stage in life. They have listening ears, but they don't have obedient hearts. Are you like that? Are you like that? You have listening ears, but you don't have obedient hearts. So that they will not say you are proud. You will listen to them. In fact, you try and compose yourself. And then you go on to do what is in your mind. If you are like that, that is where you can use your glory. Because let me tell you this. Manifestation of glory is not without opportunity. Manifestation of glory. Financial glory. Ministerial glory is not without opportunity. An opportunity, a platform. God organized for men through men. Opportunity, a platform. God give men through men. So if the person that will open the door for you tomorrow, that show the dimension of arrogance to the person. How do you, how would the person now put the door for you? When they want to talk in person, glory to shame. When they want to turn the beauty, which is the glory of a lady, to a shame for her, they will just collect character from her. And that one away. She will be rude to anybody, she will be insulting to anybody. Rude to anybody, sorted to anybody, and she believes that her beauty can get her any man. Have you noticed that most of the ladies who ended up not married, they can be called perfection of beauty. When the enemy wants to stop a person from using his glory, I think time is done. I will we continue by 6 p.m. The fifth section of this meeting. But there are many things for you to learn. You have to understand. Opportunity are passing people by on a daily basis. Manifestation of glory. It's not without opportunity. Read your Bible. I repeat again. Manifestation of glory is not without opportunity. Read your Bible. Imagine Joseph had been, Joseph had been rude to the butler in the prison. On Kiev. He had insulted the butler in the prison. Even when the butler introduced him to the king that he had a dream, he was he was to put comma. I said, okay, there is a boy in the prison who he can interpret your dream. But uh, be careful of him. Oh, they will bring him out. He will interpret the dream. They may not return him to the prison. But the king will not make him the prime minister. David was 
anointed in 4 Samuel 16, he had the opportunity to confront Goliath in 1 Samuel 17. He began to serve in the palace of, of um, Saul, the king. Opportunity. Opportunity. If he got to the battlefront and he began to insult both the king and all the armies of Israel, all of you, why are you behaving like a coward like this? None of you now about this Goliath. Hey, that, 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 that will come. In fact, all of you are a disappointment to heaven. Hey, all of you are this. All of you are that. In fact, you don't know what you are doing. In fact, your head is not correct. In fact, you are a shame. When you know you are a weakling, why do you become an army and all of that? Who will give you an opportunity to go and confront Goliath? Who? Who will give you an opportunity? You got to confront Goliath. Manifestation of glory is not without opportunity. If you did not pick anything from what I've been saying since, pick this. Manifestation of glory is not without opportunity. Understand this carefully well. You have financial glory. God will create opportunity that will lead to that financial destiny. If you have the attitude that does not take things serious, that is careless about things. Some people have some an annoying attitude. One of those annoying attitudes is to believe that another time, another chance will come. Is an annoying attitude. Another chance will come. So the chance that you have, you did not take it serious. Another chance will come. Mm. Another chance will come. And you think heaven is a waster. You are given an opportunity. You trivialize it, you did not take it serious, and then you lost the opportunity, and you are seeing another chance to come. Everyone does not waste resources. One opportunity was given to Daniel, he used it well, he became a governor in the straight land. One opportunity was given to Joseph, he used it very well. I tell you again without any apology. Manifestation of glory is not without opportunity. It's not without opportunity. You have to understand that carefully. Don't be like Solomon. Who by the time they return his glory to shame, they made it to become careless. It became so self wise. The Bible says that is a way that cement right unto a man. That cement right unto a man. But the end is destruction. The end is destruction. I pray for you. That any strategy by which the enemy wants you to terminate your glory, I cancel those strategies by the blood of Jesus. Is that the loudest of any four day men can be? Any strategy the enemy wants to use to take your glory away from you, I cancel it by the blood of Jesus. Any strategy they want to use to turn your glory to shame, I cancel it by the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus secure your glory. 
In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are free. Amen. Amen. Amen in Jesus' name. Till I see you by 5.50 p.m. The fifth section of this prayer. Be blessed. Meditate on those few things that you have had. And the Lord enlarge your understanding. God bless you. See you by 5.50 p.m. Shalom.